As it might be seen now, discernment is key. It is so significant and so important every moment of one's life, but especially for what is to come in the near future. The significance of the spiritual lesson of discernment is invaluable. It can't be expressed enough. And that lesson just went through on this channel could only be done once. That lesson can never be given in the same way ever again. The scope of it being immense. So that's it. And it was in real time. A real world lesson in real time. And only a few had the opportunity to experience it that way. Only a few. So be it. That's just how it happened. And that's fine. The significance is what needs to be looked into. Need to Needs to be meditated on needs to be seen for what it is and how often how often so many tried to take advantage of others and they're able to do that because others do not have that key spiritual lesson inside of themselves discernment at levels that people can't imagine is going to be necessary in the time to come. When I say question behind the question behind the question behind the question, that's what it's going to take. There are going to be immensities presented. That's the thing. So, right now, just people talking away about the future and not presenting any evidence, well, it's almost meaningless. Of course, to anyone really observing the world, there's all kinds of evidence. You just see what's being done to the earth, how people treat each other a lot of times. Just all the problems. We don't need to go into every single aspect again. You're you're well aware of the problems of this place. And of course, the other side that just wants to focus on the positive, well, I mean, it's fine to to look to positive things, to nice things. There's nothing wrong with that, obviously. But to just ignore everything bad is not a good idea. That's not part of discernment either. If you just ignore everything that's wrong, how are you going to be able to discern correctly? Especially when it comes to ultimate choices. And that's what I'm bringing forth. The ultimate choice that's to come. And yeah, it won't just be great claims being made without evidence. There's going to be mountains of evidence. That's going to be the big difference. And also tied with the fact that one is going to have to make a choice. This I'm making very, very clear about what I believe is to come in the future. Again, I'm always just going to say what I believe. The question of the choice between crowns, again, everyone knows this. But, without having gone through the level of the exercise of discernment that was just went through, one can't understand what it's going to take to be able to cut through the deceptions that are going to be at play. It's going to be very, very difficult to know what is truth and what is a lie. Both sides 
are going to be presenting their case, as I've said. And it's going to be up to you as an individual to decide which one is telling the truth and which one is outright lying. And that's not going to be easy to do. Not in the slightest. People who think they have a lot of discernment in them, really, you have to understand this. The vaccine, seen through that, again, that was kindergarten playtime. That was easy for a lot of us to see through. What's to come? Not at all. It's going to be anything but easy. And that's just one side of of the whole schematic of of everything that's going to be unfolding. And yeah, I talk about the future, of course I do. That's what I'm doing. That's what I'm here to do while I still have some time to do it. And as I say, I'm just linking it with my beliefs of what's to come. The factor of that which affects one's personal discernment the most is probably influence, and especially influence from those that one is closest to, friends, family, neighbors. Is the influence of those that one is closest to going to affect your choice, your ultimate choice in what's to come? This is going to matter more than you can imagine. The ultimate choice. Will you allow somebody else, even in your life, that you're very close to, affect your choice and the outcome of what it's going to mean for you as an individual? This key of discernment is going to be very relevant and very important in that regard too. Because it's not just what's going to be presented by both sides, the two crowns if you will. It's going to be that factor of influence that one has in their own life. No different again than with everything to do with the quarantine and the jab agenda and everything along with it. Look at the amount of influence that was involved from the governments of the world, from literally everyone, strangers just getting in your face out in public. Tons and tons of influence. And obviously discernment was a big key factor in just cutting through all the bullshit. But still, that influential influenza factor was there and it was persistent it didn't relent that's the point just as it said evil never rests they don't have to rest and the case they'll never rest their case absolutely not because it's going to be about harvesting as many as possible And this is another thing to consider. As I say, I come from the heart. This is the vision that I come from. And the heart obviously gives a sight line for what's to come. Because the heart cares. You don't see the mind doing that. You don't see the mind talking about what's to come and how you're going to need every ounce of your own personal discernment for this choice to come. No, the heart is doing that, of course, freely. Not trying to sell some book about it either. And not only that, as I said, I've been showing I'm willing to throw myself under the bus to get these spiritual lessons out there in real time. The only unfortunate thing was that so few experienced it. So few. 
And there's no way to repeat that lesson in the same way ever again. That's it. It's done. It was it was a one-off. One chance. I can only hope it reached as many real hearts as possible. But just just seeing the view count obviously uh it's it's a very small number that actually even saw it as as a lesson and of course there's all the ai that are just coming at me as i said and even those real hearts that are just not seeing the reasons why i'm doing what i'm doing None of this is about creating an empire for me. I'm not selling anything. This is all about the truth. And yeah, I'm willing to tear down the face of this channel, if you will, the perception that anyone has had towards me to go through a spiritual lesson. Absolutely I am. That's what I mean by throwing myself under the bus I don't have some kind of great image, if you will, to uphold out in the public. That, oh, he wrecked his image, now he's going to lose all his sales. Well, I have. there's no sales, there's nothing to sell here. That's the point, so I don't care about any of that garbage. It's just about the truth. And spiritual lessons are very, very difficult that's a fact. And oftentimes when you're going through a spiritual experience and a lesson, you don't even realize you're being taught a lesson until the realization happens. Then you get to know in hindsight, wow, that's why all that occurred. That's what vision is about. The heart sees way, way, way in advance. Far more in advance than you can imagine. So it knows what it's going to do years and years and years ahead of time. It's Think of it like chess, but multi, 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 multi-dimensional chess. Some people have described it in ways like this before it's a good way to kind of see how the heart's vision is it's not linear it doesn't do just one thing one step at a time and doesn't see ahead it's no different than making a plan right you're an architect let's say and you're drawing up a plan well you have the vision to see through the whole plan and seeing what's to come, how each thing in succession is going to happen. But you see that way ahead of time, before the first shovel of dirt is taken out of the ground. That's kind of an appropriate analogy, if you will. Something easy to understand. So the mind is a mock of that. It does its utmost to see in advance, but its powers are very limited. And it does not have the scope of vision that the heart has whatsoever, not even close. There's no comparison. It's an imbecile, to put it simply. So to choose that crown, in my view, is the worst mistake that can be made and many are going to be duped by what will be presented because the mind is clever absolutely it is and it has a lot of clever plays and it'll dupe and deceive many who think that they can't be duped and deceived because they do not have the key of discernment and they didn't go through a spiritual lesson in that way to make them understand or to help them understand 
is the better way to put it. Just how important discernment is. So yeah, it meant getting to the point where I had to present myself as also someone to not be trusted. Don't trust me. It comes down to you as an individual. You have to listen to your heart, trust your heart. Or one can get caught in the meanderings of the mind and what it has to say, which is all based on influential topics, influential aspects that have been governed for one's whole life. That's the labyrinth. And one is lost in its maze. It's amazing. Very much. Because it's a design to keep one trapped and cornered. Lost in the dark. Going in circles endlessly. Chasing your own tails. All the same symbols. Everything that has been presented. So again, I have no image to uphold. And that's the last time I'll be able to do a lesson like that. And it will be properly understood in the time to come. One's 2020 glasses will be put on and it will be comprehended the reasons why I have done what I've done here in the last few weeks. And it will be seen why it was so important. When it comes to ultimate choices that affect your eternity. Everything. Everything matters. You have to look at every detail. Nothing can be overlooked. Not whatsoever. This is why it's also so important to be getting sober right now. To not be getting drunk in all the excesses, as I've said. If you're caught unawares in the time to come, and aren't doing any preparing whatsoever right now, and yes, part of that preparing is becoming sober. Get rid of the excesses. Stop being drawn into all these entertainments, all these distractions. That's part of the preparation. Sit in silence a lot. Go into your heart a lot. Take the time to do that. This is part of spending one's inheritance correctly at this moment. These are the real preparations to do. But if one is just going to go headlong into all the forces of this world and what its minions tell you to do, then you're going to be caught unaware. You're going to be caught in a place where you had wished that you had done things differently right at this moment. This is what sight line means. You're being given a sight line into what's to come. At least, and again I reiterate, This is from my belief, from my perspective, from my heart. And of course, everyone can present their own version of what they feel is to come, which just might be nothing in their version, except more of the same. More of the same kind of circles, just repeating endlessly. Just grooving a little bit deeper with each successive turn around the wheel. And that's fine. Everyone has their own way of seeing things. And that's also what this is about, too. That's why I say, don't trust me. You have to go inside of yourself. See what your heart is telling you. Yes, even in this moment... If you feel that it's telling you to get caught in the distractions, well, I mean, go for it then. And you can see how far that'll take you. If you think it's going to take you into eternity, 
Well, I guess that's what you think. And yes, I'm going to continue to talk. Absolutely. No distractions in that regard. I'm going to keep presenting what I have to say, my viewpoint. I will say what I see. And to those who don't like it, you can just stop listening. Or you can leave your verbal abuse in the comment section. As you've noticed, that's freely available for the real hearts and the abusers. I did notice one commenter saying that this is where all the NPCs are hanging out. <laughs> I, uh, I thought that was a pretty good one. It definitely uh, has taken a turn for sure. It's quite obvious that they're coming out in droves and just just flooding the channel now with a lot of nonsense. There's just a lot of nonsense in there now. Well, that's the point. That's what the artificial idea does. It floods things. It takes them over. It destroys the sacred. That's also the point. That's the reflection to observe. They don't care about what they affect or how they affect it. They just want to take and take and take. And they see everyone as someone to use or just as some piece of entertainment for themselves. Don't get caught in being that way. Focus on what's important, truly important. There is so much healing that needs to be done. Enormities need to be healed. And so it will be. That's what this is all about. I'm going to leave it at that today. It's a bit of a shorter message. And you'll definitely hear from me again tomorrow. Be safe and take care, everyone. Talk to you again.